Hello friends, welcome back to another exciting Photoshop tutorial. Today we will be tackling a common challenge that many designers and photographers face selecting hair on a busy background. In this tutorial, I will show you how to separate your subject from the background and create beautifully refined hair edges. I will guide you step by step. So without wasting any time, let's get started. All right. So we have got our image open in Photoshop and as you can see, we have a subject with curly hair and the background is quite busy. Now selecting hair on such a background is quite a challenging. So our first step is to separate our subject from the background. You can do this using either select subject tool or select and mask tool. But for this tutorial, I will use the select subject tool. But before we start with that, let's duplicate the background layer. To do this, press Ctrl J or command J on Mac at the same time. This will create a copy of the background layer, which we can work on without affecting the original image. Now that we have our duplicate layer, we can move on to selecting our subject. Simply click on the select subject button in the toolbar. Photoshop will automatically analyze the image and create a selection around your subject. This tool is particularly useful for complex selections like hair as it uses artificial intelligence to detect and select the subject of your image. Once the selection is created, you will see a marching ants border around your subject. This indicates the area that is currently selected. From here, you can refine the selection, add or subtract areas and make any necessary adjustments to get the perfect selection around your subject. Once you have your selection, add a layer mask by clicking on the add layer mask button at the bottom of the layers panel. This will mask out the background, leaving only the selected subject visible. However, you may notice that the edges of the hair selection are not perfect. There may be some areas where the background is still visible or where the subject has been cut off. These automatic selections can sometimes be a headache to fix, but don't worry. I'm here to show you a simple and effective method to get the job done. If you want, you can also refine the edges of your selection. You can use the refine edge tool. This tool allows you to adjust the edges of your selection to make them more accurate. To use this tool, click on the select and mask button in the toolbar and then choose the refine edge tool from the toolbar on the left. Use this tool to brush over the edges of your selection and Photoshop will automatically adjust the selection to better match the edges of your subject. Once you have your rough mask and have refined the edges of your selection, you can go ahead and add a new background to your image. This could be a solid color, a gradient or another image entirely. It's up to you. Make sure to position it below your subject layer so that the subject appears on top of the background. Now that we have our rough mask and new background in place, it's time to enter quick mask mode to refine the edges of the hair further. To do this, simply press Q on your keyboard. You will notice that your image will turn red, indicating that you are in quick mask mode. This mode allows you to paint on the mask using brushes, making it easier to refine the edges of your selection. Next, press Ctrl I or Command I to invert the quick mask. This will make the hair area active and the background area inactive. In other words, any changes you make will only affect the hair area, leaving the background untouched. With the quick mask active, take the brush tool from the toolbar on the left. Set the foreground color to gray by clicking on the foreground color swatch at the bottom of the toolbar and choosing a mid-tone gray. This will allow you to make subtle adjustments to the edges of your mask without completely removing or adding areas. Now simply paint over the messy edges of the hair. This will help to soften the edges and make them blend more naturally with the background. As you paint, you will see the red overlay disappearing, revealing the refined edges of your selection. Now you can adjust the brush size and hardness to suit your needs and use the X key to quickly switch between black and white to add or subtract from the mask. Once 
Once you are happy with the results, press Q again to exit quick mask mode, indicating that you are back in normal selection mode. Finally, it's time to use generate to fill feature to fix any remaining imperfections in your selection. This feature uses artificial intelligence to analyze your image and generate new pixels that match the surrounding area, which makes it a powerful tool for cleaning up and complex selections like hair. To use the generate to fill feature, simply click on the generate to fill button in the toolbar. This will open a dialog box where you can specify the details of the fill. In this case, type in curly hair in the text box provided. This will tell Photoshop to generate pixels that match the texture and color of curly hair, helping to create a more natural and refined edge. Once you have entered your text, click on the generate button. You will see a loading bar appearing at the top of the screen, indicating that Photoshop is working its magic. This process may take a few seconds, depending on the complexity of your image and the speed of your computer. And just like that, the edges of the hair are beautifully created with each strand looking natural and refined. The generate to fill feature has filled in any gaps or imperfections in your selection, making it look seamless and professional. Here is the quick recap. First create a rough mask and add a new background. Next, press Q to activate quick mask mode. Following that, press Ctrl or Command I to invert the quick mask. Select the brush tool, set the foreground color to gray and paint over the messy hair edges. Then press Q again and click on generate to fill. In this case, enter curly hair as the input and click on generate. Wait for the process to complete and you will see that the edges have been beautifully refined. Congratulations, you have just mastered the art of hair selections on complex backgrounds in Photoshop. This technique can be a real game changer for your photo editing workflow, saving you time and frustration. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you will be able to apply these skills to your own projects. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more great tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Happy editing.